Um, just uh, put into words what it means to, to see these guys and look at their faces again. Oh, it's always good. Um, you know, though we're not around each other as much as, uh, as we would like, but as soon as we get back together, it's like we never miss a beat. Um, all the stories, catching up where, where each other is with their lives, um, and just a genuine care for one another. Uh, so that always makes the, makes the environment very, uh, very loving, very joyous. It happened your rookie year. You had to be thinking, is this going to happen every year for me? I was hoping. I, was, I mean, that's, that's what I was introduced to, so that was the standard. Um, and that's, that's, that's what I shot for every single year. Um, and we get there in my rookie year, obviously, and then our second year we had a chance, but we didn't, it didn't work. And then the third year we come back, and we go back, I'm like, yeah, this is, I mean, I can take, it's okay, I'll do every other year, but as long as I'm back in the big show. So it was a challenge, but the times that we went, it was great. The moments, the memories were fantastic. And the fact that we were able to bring championships back to the city is something that, uh, that I'll always remember. We're in a wide receiver diva world. Uh-oh. You and Isaac could have been like that, never were, never were even close to that. Why? Well, it never dawned on me to be, you know, I, I say you have to have a, a sense of selfishness to play this game and to play it at a high level, to get yourself ready, right, to, to, to make it a team, team deal. Um, but I, I never thought outside of myself or thought that much of myself to not stretch with my team or not spend time with my team or not have dinners or not respect those guys' time and the hard work that they put in. So it just wasn't part of my fabric. And I'm glad it, I'm glad it wasn't. Uh, I, I think I was, I was raised and coached the right way. And, uh, and, and that was the way I, that's the way I approached the game. Even though you and Isaac were really close, there was a little bit of a rivalry, right? In a sense that you wanted to be the best and he wanted to be the yeah. best and it made you guys great. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, to this day, if you ask, if you ask Ike who the best is, he'll say himself. You ask me, I'm gonna say myself, but it's okay. But who there's is? No, it's no, it's no, me. <laughs> there's no beef. That's a total, I have nothing but respect for Isaac. Isaac showed me how to do it the right way as a young boy, and even now. You see the things that he's continuing to do in the community here in St. Louis, the impact that he's making. He's still showing us the right way to do it. And we're, we're you know, we're, we're the best of friends, uh, great friends. Uh, so, um, so I'm glad that I was, was introduced to a guy like Isaac initially in the National Football League. And him, not only him, but Ricky Prohl and Brother Ray Agnew, all those guys were, were great role models for a guy like myself and others. All right, some quickies. You can't hedge on any of these. Could you play one NFL game right now? Yes. A teammate from 99 who you would want protecting your family? Orlando Pace. If you were single, teammate you'd hang out with to meet girls? Uh, Azakim. Dick Vermeil in a word? Crybaby. <laughs> no football in this world. You would have done what? Music. Number of times you've watched the 99 game? thousand times. The moment you knew the 99 team was special? Um, it was one, one day in practice, the ball never touched the ground. And I knew right then, I said, this is, I'd never been a part of anything like that, where the ball didn't touch the ground, meaning the receivers, tight ends, running backs caught every single ball. It's the most impressive thing I've ever seen in my life.